defenses here, night one and night two. Introducing first in this tag team championship match, the challengers. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right, bear, bear with me here. Ladies and gentlemen, 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 real awakening, awakening, awakening. Please welcome the challengers and maybe the next tag team champions, my best friends, the coolest tag team in the world, Big Bad Bobby Marshall, Dan the Man Moore, and introduced by Jesse Lambert. That's me. We are two and a half wrestlers. I don't think Jones Good is going to be out of a job anytime soon. And now, at combined 401 pounds, they are your reigning and defending EPW Tag Team Champions, Jack Edwards, Taylor King, the Task Force! Gorgeous this one, Eric Mack, the Task Force versus Bobby Marshall and Dan Moore. Don't let the antics of Jesse Lambert fool you. Oh, this right one on cue. is right on gonna cue. be a hard one. Oh, 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 they're going oh. straight to the finish. They're ready to end this one straight away. Oh wait, no, Dan Moore was also trying to look for that, maybe that TKO, but uh, it's broken down very, very early in the piece. Moore and Marshall on the outside. Well, of course, Dan Moore and Bobby Marshall didn't wrestle last night. The task force did. As both oh. men now, oh! Just wiping out the tag team champions. And look, uh, far be it for me to criticise the matchmakers, but it's just very unfortunate that Taylor King and Jack Woods have had to do this because Dan Moore and Bobby Marshall completely fresh. Oh, whoa! Both of those big lads going up and over the top rope. Jesse Lambert is in the ring for some reason. Oh no. He's gotta be careful. He gets his team to swallow No, disapproving Dan doesn't want any piece of this. No. Um. Oh no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He gets Taylor King up and over! Now it could be very well that Jesse Lambert is proving to be a hindrance here to Bob and Dan's championship hopes. And I know it's only early days, but they had the momentum there until Jesse got involved. Jack Edwards looked like he was about to go for something high risk. Dan Moore cut him off. What's he gonna do here? Oh, oh, vertical suplex to the outside onto everyone. There is no way that that felt good for any of the competitors. Of course, at our wow. Last event prior to the world going the wrong way up last year. Uh, the team of Dan Moore and Bobby Marshall got themselves a win over the Untouchables at Going For Broke. That is a team of Damien Slater and Julian Ward, which is a hell of a feather in their cap. These, these guys can do some great things inside the ring. Well, that's it. You know, their resumes themselves earn them championship opportunities, but this isn't just like a team out of nowhere. Oh, oh. And there we see that. That malicious streak that Bobby Marshall has shown in his over a decade and a half career. Just using the opportunity to just absolutely charge Taylor King. That's that, right. These guys have got a funny video, but Bobby Marshall is oh, still one of the meanest and baddest and toughest individuals this company's ever seen. And if it's not scary enough, the, the way that he can go from fun and sociable Bob into this killer Bob is absolutely just frightening. This is a man who has real, been a main event of reawakenings in the past before. Like we said, the man's a two-time EPW champion, two-time tag team champion. He's been a hardcore champion as well. There is very little this man has not done in EPW, nor many he has not beaten. Dan Moore now. Oh, oh Bob as well. I'm gonna say some big boots from both men, and I mean that literally. Oh! You just see how the, the mood has definitely changed with the two of them there. They had a bit of fun at the beginning, two, just two, but I think that moment with Jesse Lambert getting involved and then copying the weight of Taylor King has really just caused things to go up a gear for these two gentlemen. Well, I think you can have your fun and your games, but I think that Marshall and Moore understand that the Tag Team Championships One, are... One, two, 
are hanging in the balance. Like, like I said, there are five tag team title reigns between these two. These guys know how to get the job done when tag team championships are on the line. And the thing is as well, we saw Plague have such a dominant run. We saw the Hooligans have a dominant run before that as well. And we see Taylor King and Jack Edwards now. They don't want to be the team that become that transition champion. Oh, exactly, and that's the thing. They also want to be fighting champions, and they have to go up against the likes of Dan Moore and Bobby Marshall to do that, and to have a historic reign that they're wanting to have. And Dan Moore right now, like you said, they're, they're all fun and games, and they got that great in introduction video, but Dan Moore, I mean, maybe, maybe the viciousness of Bobby Marshall is rubbing off on Dan Moore, perhaps. Well, that was the year. Oh, what a huge sit out, foul, bump, two. Oh, just two. But I, I recall when Dan and Bob's just first started to get back together and look at this team, Dan was looking to get that more vicious edge because maybe, I don't want to say soft, but maybe he took his eye off the prize a little bit with his mentorship of Jesse Lambert. I wouldn't say soft, I'd say maybe he was a little too nice for his own good. Well, yes, he was called the nice guy, but I think soon enough, if he keeps competing like this, we might have to put that moniker in the past. Don't about that. Dan wrestling with a purpose here tonight. Look at this. Great. Oh! I'm not sure if we caught that, but on the outside, Jack Edwards minding his own business has been absolutely blindsided by Bobby Marshall. Like you keep saying, don't let the introduction fool you, Bobby Marshall. <laughs> will put a hurting on you like no other. Poor Jesse Lambert's confused. He's not sure he knows how to react. He looks like Bambi in the headlights. I think Jesse Lambert's just happy to be here. That's very true. And Bobby Marshall's going to try and inflict some damage inside the ring. Taylor King is one, two, only two, but he's absolutely being taken a whooping at the moment. And uh, great chemistry here from Laura Marshall. Quick tags, high impact offense. That's right, they're tagging very frequently. Meanwhile, look. Oh, Taylor King charges through with a double clothesline. Just think of the momentum and strength you need to knock, go, knock down both those two men. The two massive individuals as he throws Dan Moore to the outside. Marshall comes charging in, meets a back elbow strike for his troubles. Oh. Nice boot to the face there. Jack Edwards finally on the outside ring apron. A little worse for wear though after what Bobby Marshall did to him. That's the thing we've learned about Edwards at all. No! It looked like the tag was going to go down with King and Edwards. Edwards had fought his way to his feet, but Dan Moore, that huge long lever of his. Oh, and another boot for good measure from Bobby Marshall. Taylor King is not in a good way and he's got no one to tag out to. Marshall now, he's going to go for another one of those power bombs, and oh. he doesn't sit down. Oh! King was lucky to kick out of that. Like we said as well earlier on in this matchup, the Task Force did wrestle last night. You know they're feeling a lot of aches and pains and bumps and bruises from that hard fought matchup against technically three people. Oh, exactly, and you know what? The Task Force, I know they're new champions, but I'm sure they would have had enough sway to be able to talk to EBW Mantra and say, hey, look, maybe this double-headed tag team championship, not maybe a good idea. But they, they took on the challenge, and it might be, and look, it's early days, but it might be their downfall. Oh, a little bit of frustration on the face there, Dan Moore. We haven't seen that too often. They're fighting a very good game plan and strategy, though, it must be said. That's right, the masters of the art of tag team wrestling. Really masters of the art of wrestling. Like, these two have been doing it for, you know, over a decade and a half. And, oh, Wade King gets out, but he's met with Bobby Marshall. Gets out of that predicament as well. Rolls out of that one. Rolls through again. Tag made to Jack Edwards. Here he goes. Oh, oh lovely drop kick. Face. Almost climbed the stairway to heaven with that drop kick on Bobby. Oh, one more time. Here we go. Well, lures him in. Bobby Marshall and Dan Moore meeting the minds. Here we go. Uses Dan Moore. Oh. oh, some inadvertent teamwork. It may not have been pretty, but it was effective from Jack Edwards. Now making his way to that middle rope. Got something else in mind here, Bobby Marshall. Oh, crossbody! Oh, over the top as well. Could that be it? One, two, oh! No, not yet. Bobby Marshall still has some fight left in him. 
got Jesse Lambert doing a little bit of uh, cheerleading on the outside, if you will. That's a whole lot of story for another day. Some unattractive right hands there, just throwing caution to the wind. And just Bobby equally Bobby as ugly. Oh, not today, wow. Edwards. Just wrench Jack oh, Edwards. Oh, no. oh scissor, scissor kick. kick! Scissor kick! Bobby Marshall has won the EBW Championship with this match on more He's than one occasion. He's with the EBW Tactical! Oh, oh, Taylor King at the last possible second. Picture perfect timing right there. Oh my goodness, if it weren't for Taylor King, that was it. That was the end of the task force reign. Oh, oh. Very, very fortunate for Taylor King and the task force. Do not get much closer than that. Marshall T's going to go for another one of his sit down power bombs. Oh, now. Oh, with, no, standing variation, but had Dan Moore with the assist. Right in the center of the ring. Dan with the cover. Two. Oh, King again with the save. And you've got to say, these saves have been absolutely vital because, not to discredit Jack Edwards, but those two manoeuvres, that was the end of the Tag Team Championship reign. Sure was. Bobby Marshall now has Taylor King. Oh, just throws him to the outside. King holds on, though. Says hi to Bob. Not sure how smart that is. Oh, no. He's sucking him in. Well done from Taylor King. Hangman on the ropes. Edwards. Lovely spinning suplex there. Just a two count there. Taylor King gave that every possible chance. He was guarding Bobby Marshall on the outside, but very, very good maneuver from Edwards, but not great and not enough to kick the Tag Team Championships for the moment. That's right, the task force, like I keep saying, they fought so hard to finally get the gold around their waist. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go, the setup for the Doom Rider. Oh, jeez. Wow. Oh, no. Roll through! One, two! Oh! Oh, this is getting too close for comfort. Dan Moore, oh. what's he doing here? Precarious position, rolls through again. Two! Oh, just two. Some near falls here. Oh, he's got him up. Thought he was going to go for that TKO. Taylor King got out of it, though. He certainly was looking for it. Taylor King now has more over the shoulders. Look at that achy, breaky neck. Marshall off the top rope! Diving back elbow strike hits the mark. That is just like by hit, being hit by a missile with a, someone that size. Now, Dan with the high knee into the Michinoku driver. Edwards with the save. Referee Clint Masson again with a two count. But Edwards this time coming to the aid of Taylor King. Got in mind, hard oath. Whoa! Oh no! Manhandle was the great turn, but he's just with such force has been able to throw him over the top rope with an Irish whip, and uh, Bob just going to town with those stomps. It ain't pretty, but it's damn effective. I'll tell you that much. The way he here, he's got him in that power bomb position again. He is a dangerous man outside of the ring. Surely he's not going to power bomb him on the. Oh, oh, no. oh! Out of desperation, out of necessity, Jack Edwards. Oh, achy breaky neck from Taylor King. Here we go, achy breaky neck. That's got to be it. One, two, oh! Jesse Lambert yes. grabbed the leg of Dan Moore. You know, I was going to mention earlier that Jesse Lambert hadn't gotten involved in this matchup like we've seen other managers. Jesse now is apologizing to the task force. The task force is not happy that Jesse's getting involved. Jack Edwards stalking Jesse Lambert, who's very apologetic. Oh, it he's about to pay for getting involved in this one. Yeah, look, we all like to have a laugh with Jesse in a tag team championship match. It's not where it should be. Oh! Oh! What a boot! And another scissors oh. kick! Now goes Edwards. Oh! Hard on that guardrail. King in position. Going up for the TKO. And he nails it! He just drilled Taylor King with the TKO. He's got the One, left hook. Two! And oh my oh, goodness! Oh, 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 oh. How in the hell 
to Taylor King kick out of that? The scissors kick, the TKO. We should have new EBW Tag Team Champions right now, but Taylor King would not allow it. This is a testament, not only to Taylor King, but the task force in their entirety. The Tag Team Championships mean so much to them. They are kicking out of everything that these two are throwing at them. Things that so many people before them have not even had a chance to kick out of. Well, that's it. You could have counted to five or ten with other competitors, but the Tag Team Championships on the line, they fought so hard to get them. They're not going to let them go. Just a massive humanity around that turn. But now we've got Taylor King on the second rope. Dan Moore laying into Taylor King. Going to the top row, very precarious. Wait a minute. Oh, twisting fisherman off the middle rope. Not just the wherewithal, but the strength to actual muscle Dan Moore over. Oh, look out, Bobby Taylor Marshall. King. Bobby, Bobby Marshall. Marshall. Oh, oh, no. oh, he inadvertently leg dropped Dan Moore. He was aiming for Taylor King. King was lucky enough to get the hell out of the way. Edwards. What a clothesline taking the big man Marshall over with him. Cactus clothesline, and now... Taylor King's calling for it. He's directing traffic. He's got Dan Moore up. Here it is! Doom Raider! The task force has retained. They are your winners by pinfall and still EPW Tag Team Champions Jack Edwards, Taylor King, the Task Force! Huge victory for Jack Edwards and Taylor King, the Task Force, still your EPW Tag Team Champions.